guys, in this video, we'll be discussing investigating brain function, as well as electrical stimulation. We'll also be discussing magnetic resonance imaging scanners and the difficulties of investigating brain function and treating problems in the CNS. And finally, a summary. So we know the function of the brain is to process information, but the brain is really complicated and we still don't know lots of things about it. As technology to study the structure and the function improves, neuroscientists or people who study the brain are continuously making new discoveries about the brain. In this video, I'll talk about the different ways of investigating brain function and some of the problems with investigating brain function. This allows scientists to map out what parts of the brain do what. So one way of investigating brain function is through electrical stimulation. So what is this? Well, electrical stimulation lets you directly study the effects of stimulating certain areas of the brain. This lets you work out the function of these areas. So how do we do this? Well, we do this by placing a microelectrode, which is shown as this here. And this is placed on brain tissue, and this provides a small zap of electricity. And that stimulates this part of the brain. So, example, stimulation of the motor area will cause muscle contraction. And this might cause the patient to lift up their hand. So by the patient lifting their hand up, we know that this part of the brain causes muscle contraction. However, hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCSE biology and combined science videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.